Happening right now in around two weeks, dozens of CSU Pueblo students are going to be graduating on time and they'll have the ability to join the workforce even quicker than normal. News 5's Colette Bordelon, Bordelon sat in on one of their virtual classes this weekend to find out how the hands-on field is doing without meeting in person. The goal is to make sure these graduating nurses are ready to step into the workforce despite missing out on some of those direct patient care hours. Governor Polis relaxed a rule that requires graduates complete a test to become an RN. Now they can start work under the supervision of other nurses before taking that test. I joined in on one of their debriefs after students did what's called a simulation lab, where they analyze a fictional patient's symptoms. The downside is that you're not actually practicing your skills hands-on, you know, so unfortunately, you know, we're not really getting to perfect our hands-on with our patient and kind of, you know, improve like how we communicate with patients. But I think for what it was, it was really helpful. Those with the nursing school say there's a historical shortage of nurses and the pandemic isn't helping if some healthcare workers get sick. Tonight at 10, see more of their online class and learn why their graduation is critical to helping with COVID-19. Always watching out for you, Pueblo. Colette Bordelon, News 5.